Hello student, let us do one uh, probability problem which is based on conditional probability. The problem is there are two bags, okay. First bag contains 5 white, 2 black balls and second bag contains uh, 4 black and 4 white balls. One ball is transferred from the bag 1 to the bag 2, so it may be black or white, okay. One ball is transferred first, one ball is transferred from the bag 1 to the bag 2 and then a ball is drawn from the second bag. So what is the probability that this ball is white, okay. The ball drawn from the second bag is white. So there are two activities, first activity is one ball is transferred from the bag 1 to bag 2 and then <coughs> second activity is a ball is drawn from the second bag, okay. So let us uh, split this first activity into A1 and A2 event. The transferred ball is white and A2 means the transferred uh, ball is black. Okay. And then the B event will be the ball drawn from the second bag is white. Now here two uh, events arise either this will happen this and this that means A1 and B or we will get A2 and B. A1 and B means transferred ball is white, what is the probability of getting white ball from the second bag and when the transferred ball is black, what is the probability of getting white ball from the second bag. So these are the two cases or two event will arise here, either this will uh, uh, happen or this will happen, okay. That means A1 and B or A2 and B, okay. So these two are mutually exclusive because this cannot happen together, okay, either this will happen or that will happen. So the required probability will be probability of uh, this A, A1 intersection B union o, or means union union of A2 intersection B. So that can be written in this way probability of this plus probability of uh, A2 intersection B because there is no intersection part, these two are mutually exclusive, so we will not get any intersection part. Now by the multiplication theorem of probability, this will be probability of A1 intersection B can be splitted in this way, probability of A1 into probability of B given A1. Similarly for the second case plus probability of A2 uh, multiplied by probability of B given A2 that means uh, probability of B where A2 is happened, okay. Now what is the probability of A1? A1 is a transferred ball is white. Now look here how many white balls are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 white balls and out of 7. So it will be 5 by 7. Next is probability of getting a white ball from the second bag when the transferred ball is white, okay. So if the transferred ball is white, that means here the number of white will increase by 1. So it is 4 plus 1 and total number of ball also increase by 1. So it is 8 plus 1. So it is 5 by 9. Now probability of A2, A2 means transferred ball is black. So how many black balls? 2 black balls out of 7. So the probability will be 2 by 7. Now probability of B given A2. What is the probability that the ball drawn from the second bag is white given that the transferred ball is black, okay. So if the transferred ball is black, there is no change in the white ball. So the white ball will remain same that is 4, okay. But the number of ball will be increased by 1 here. So it will 8 plus 1 that is 9. So after evaluating, you will get the required result. Thank you.